Let's get to the point here. There's gonna be no spoilers. Ex Machina was fucking fantastic, okay? We might be doing this one raw because... Uh, I don't even know. We, we don't need spoilers, and I don't even know if we need edits for this movie. This movie is basically... And by the way, I would highly recommend knowing as little as possible going into this movie. The only thing I knew coming into this movie was what I learned from watching the very first trailer and nothing more. And this movie's basically about this uh, this character named Caleb who is brought onto um, this wilderness location where this billionaire lives, played by Oscar Isaac, and Caleb, played by Donald Gleason. Caleb comes to uh, to meet him, he's kind of won some kind of uh, comp competition to meet o Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac being some billionaire programmer who's kind of developed like basically the next Google and maybe the world's first artificial intelligence with a consciousness. And this movie, oh my god, oh my goodness, the performances are out of control. Fantastic, okay? Particularly, the standout is Oscar Isaac. He has this dude with this beard and the shaven head, and he, he's very physical, you know? He, he punches, um, he works out heavy, hitting the punching bag often. Um, oh my god, but he's just so fucking smart, but he doesn't really talk like a, a tech head like Caleb does by Donald Gleason. Um... Uh, Caleb is a very interesting character because he's just such a question mark. It's like, what's up this, with this guy? Does he have secret motives? Is he... Is, he, is there more than... <sighs> what's on the surface? Oh my god, this movie. This movie, like, the movie Old Boy redefined the word <laughs> revenge to me. Um, and... Ex Machina uh, redefines the word manipulation 100%. Like in this film, particularly with the, the robot, Ava, played by uh, Alicia, um, I'm not sure how to say her last name, but she was fantastic as this robot. Okay, these three characters, the robot, Caleb, uh, Nathan, oh my god, just the, the dialogue, the dialogue is so sharp and dense and full of just head exploding ideas okay like when when Caleb and Nathan are talking about the artist Jackson Pollock my oh my god there's some of the things they were uh, that Nathan was talking about like I I so agreed with oh my god and when Nathan was describing how Ava works and how he figured out Ava from a technical point of view, I was like, holy shit, that is fucking genius. Who's, who is the asshole? Who is being dark? Who seems menacing? Who seems, who is it that seems trustful and untrustful? Um, like there's just, every, everyone is such a unreliable narrative. There's so many, there's so many unexpected moments in this movie, particularly this scene right here. This scene right here. It has got to be the most unexpected moment I've ever seen in a film besides the moment in Pulp Fiction with the gimp. You know, when Ving Rhames and Bruce Willis, they, they like wake up tied to the chairs and fucking, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. That moment right here, though, just blew my fucking mind. That is one of the best scenes I think I've ever seen in my entire life because it, it just came out of fucking nowhere. And it, I was, I like, like it was creepy, but like I was like dying of laughter at the same time. And it just, it, oh man. And there's, there's so many moments like that in the film where the story. It just doesn't go where you think it's going to go. I mean, granted, like, is someone... I mean, you could guess the ending prior to seeing the film. However, the execution of the ideas that the film is trying to tackle with... Uh, there, was a spe there was one quote from Oscar Isaac where he was talking about how one day artificial intelligence might look back on mankind as... Man the way that mankind looks back on fossils... 
also i'm curious about this scene right here like what what are your guys's thoughts on what happened there because i'm unsure the the ending of this film just blew my mind to pieces like i did not see any of that shit coming uh oh my goodness <clears throat> oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my god she knew she she knew like oh my god like she she knew okay if you've seen the film you know what i'm talking about okay like that was the only thing i i uh, that that just started freaking me out when i left the movie i was like dude she she the whole time i know if you haven't seen the movie this, what i'm saying is not making sense but but the whole time the whole time <laughs> oh god the character Ava oh man oh I uh, just this movie I mean and the cinematography is fantastic there's this one dialogue sequence next to like what looks like a waterfall and a glacier um and just when Caleb was flown in just just it the cinematography is, is gold it's like borderline David Fincher type of beautiful resolution um the performances are all naturalistic and convincing um the score whenever it's there is, is very engaging just this movie this movie has so many dense ideas really good performances uh just Oh, just really dense ideas, and it's so the tension in this movie. The suspense is so you can like cut it with a knife. There's one one sequence where one of the characters dies, but like like there was like some humor thrown in, and like it was weird. It was like towards the end of the movie where one of the characters is dying, and like it, like it's messed up. But like I was like like it was kind of comedic in in some sense, and I was laughing. I was like. Whoa, this is so rare. Like, this is blowing my mind. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, for me, this movie is a masterpiece and will probably be looked back one day as something iconic. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. It just... It, I loved it. I loved it. What would you think of this film? Let me know your thoughts down below. And, uh, yeah, man. I'm gonna tear up the fucking dance floor, dude. Check it out.